Well, it definitely doesn't look overflowing today, but yesterday was their garbage pickup, so hopefully there's some fresh trash in there. Alrighty, anything good? Oh, well, we have a lot of leaves. It's nice that they sweep up. And, hmm, some blind bags. I don't know what's in those big garbage bags, but I might just grab them and sort through them at home. Because otherwise, that's pretty much what I'm seeing. Oh, I see some hamburger meat over there. All right, so let me jump in and grab these blind bags. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is, that's an enormous package of meat. And a smaller package of meat. Oh, well I don't need this blind bag because that's all leaves. And so's that one. Okay, never mind on the blind bags. What about this one? Wow, more leaves. Okay, hamburger meat and leaves. Anything under here? No, that's a box. Oh, oh, oh. Dig a little and find bananas. And that's excellent because I need bananas. You wouldn't think I would because I find them so often, but I actually do. So far today, two packages of meat and two bananas. And now, I will try to climb out. Luckily, I have a big pile of leaves to bolster me up. Hold on. Okay, here we go. The dismount. Ooh, yeah! I was thinking maybe meatloaf for dinner because that's a lot of hamburger meat, but my kids don't really like my meatloaf. My older daughter did, but... So, no on the meatloaf, I guess. I'm thinking... Maybe cook some burgers on the grill for dinner. It's not so cold out that we can't grill. I mean, it's cold. It's in the 40s, but we can grill. And then maybe um, maybe cook up some hamburger meat for tacos. The kids love tacos. Well, let's hope for better garbage at the next Aldi dumpster. But still, that big package of hamburger meat kind of asks the question... Would you run out to the store just for hamburger meat? I mean, I was passing by this store. I'm on my way somewhere else to do something else. And I'm passing by these two Aldis anyway. So I didn't come up here just for the dumpster diving. But if you said to yourself, hey, let's have hamburgers for dinner and let me get a big enough package of meat so I can make tacos the next night. Would I run out to the store just to get the hamburger meat? Yeah, I probably would. But here in New Jersey, where it's extremely densely populated, you don't have to go very far to get to a grocery store. I know a lot of people live somewhere where, you know, oh, you'd have to drive 30 miles to get to the grocery store. So there's no just popping out for, oh, I forgot to pick up butter. Let me just run out and get butter. Or, you know, I know it has to be a much more organized and calculated and planned endeavor. But where I am, everything's really close. So enough said on that topic. We're almost at the other dumpster. There she blows, the great white whale. La 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 la. All right, dumpsterinos, keep your fingers crossed. The lids are open, which kind of makes me think the garbage truck was just here. Usually yesterday is garbage pickup day for this dumpster. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at the roses. There's definitely food in there. Okay. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of green beans. There have been a lot of green beans lately. Is this green bean time of year? I don't know. I definitely want to get the flowers if I can save them. Cauliflower pizza, I see. All right. All right. All right. You've seen what I see. I'm jumping in. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. All right. Let's grab some nice romantic flowers. No, sadly. There's a lot of eggplants in here, but they're not looking too good. Ugh. Look at that. Isn't Daddy like that? Made with real cauliflower and uncured pepperoni. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's sadly empty. Oh, wait, no, there's one. One individually wrapped bar. 
another pizza. Oh my gosh, is that a whole, look at that, whole 12 pack of Coke or cola. Some yogurt. A sock, a random sock. Well, at least we have the noodles for that. That one is a three cheese pizza. It's got something goop, gooped on it, maybe egg yolk. Ooh. Top sirloin steak. All right, that might be good. This looks like regular store trash. They also look like they've swept up their, their uh, driveway area. Oh, here we go. Some more of these sausages. Oh, that's a pretty decent cucumber. And apples. Peppers don't look too bad. Celery. Look, it's a pretty soft avocado, but it's worth taking avocados home and cutting them open just to see, because sometimes they're still good. These are pretty soft. Oh, what's this? Is this the oh, look at that. Mango spears. I love eating mangoes. Love it, love it, love it. What's that? Ooh, another steak. Ooh, potatoes. Ooh, I could make homemade french fries or oven baked crispy potatoes to go with the hamburgers or the steak. This dumpster looks really gross and shabby, but it's turned out to have some good stuff. Uh, take some more green beans. You think squirrels like green beans? I like to feed my squirrels something healthy. What is this with the noodles? Life. Korean style spicy barbecue chicken stir fry kit. Oh, I think that's enough. All right, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna jump out and load the car. And then I'm gonna go sell my plasma. Dismount number two of the day. Ta-da, okay. Hello. All right, let me just say this about plasma selling. We've talked about this many times. And whenever I talk about selling my plasma, I get comments from people in other countries who say, I donate blood, they don't pay for it here. In my country, they will not pay us. You have to understand what's going on here. In the United States, they also do not pay for blood donation. This is not blood, this is plasma. When I donate blood, actual whole blood, to the Red Cross or to the Hospital Blood Bank, both of which I've done and do, they do not pay you for that here. That is a true donation, okay? Blood. Plasma is different. When you're giving your plasma, they hook you up, they drain the blood from your arm, they separate it, they keep the plasma, they give you back your red blood cells. They pay you because this is not the Red Cross. This is not a hospital. This is a private company that is then going to sell your plasma to the pharmaceutical companies, which are then going to use the plasma to make medications or to do research. They're gonna make money off of your plasma. It's a business. It's not a charitable organization that's being forced to pay you for your plasma. They're gonna make more money off your plasma than you are. That's how they stay in business. That is how they pay their phlebotomists and pay their rent. It's a business. They're gonna make money off of your plasma. So they're gonna pay you a fraction of what your plasma is worth to them. It's not the same as when you donate blood. People hear plasma, they think blood. It's not the same donation process. You're selling your plasma because it's a business and they're gonna sell it and make even more money. That's how they stay in business. So if you think it's wrong to sell your plasma and make money for it, are you telling me you would just go to this company and just give them your plasma? Like, sure, take my plasma and sell it to the pharmaceutical company and make money, make a profit, but I don't want any money for it. I'm just donating it out of the goodness of my heart because I want you to make more money. You're basically not donating your plasma to sick people or to a hospital. You would be donating your plasma for free to a for-profit company, okay? That's the difference. When you donate blood to the Red Cross and they're just taking your whole blood and they're not spinning it and keeping part of it and giving you back the rest. They're just taking your whole blood. That is a charitable donation. You don't get money for that here. 
I don't get money for that. Nobody gets money for that. Okay? So, does that make sense now? It's the difference between blood and plasma. It's not the same thing. We don't get money for blood either in the United States. At least, I don't. You're lucky to get an Oreo and a cup of orange juice. I'm not even sure they do that anymore. Back in the old days, they used to. So. Okay, that's two Aldi dumpsters. Two dumpsters for the price of one. We got this lovely patterned little sweatshirt top type garment. Some fit and active flatbread. A black Angus top round steak. The Korean style spicy barbecue chicken stir fry kit with all of those ingredients included in the kit. A sirloin steak, that's a big one. Our one little granola bar, but not really granola. Three avocados, a cucumber, a bag of potatoes, a bag of apples, green beans, green beans, green beans, green beans, green beans, yogurt, five packages of these little breakfast sausages, four of the cauliflower crust pizzas, two with pepperoni and two that are just cheese, plus some sandwich skinnies, some beautiful romantic roses for frugal daddy, a 12 pack of cola. This is like their version of hamburger helper but I would just use it as a plain noodle side dish. And a nice big celery. Huge hamburger meat, smaller hamburger meat, two bananas, and a package of mango spears. So there you have it. What looked like it wasn't gonna be an amazing grocery haul has turned out to be quite a good little grocery haul. Two different Aldi dumpsters. Yay, lots of good stuff. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until we dive again, stay safe and sane and happy and well. Stay you, wonderful you. Stay out of jail, stay in the dumpster. Stay fabulous, fresh, frugal, and fun. Stay fun. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys, bye.